What is up everyone? Welcome back to Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition for the PC. So in the last episode we got the Iron Lancer. And now we can head back to the Dead Sea. I equipped some trap elements that we're going to need. Uh, we are going to need Black Hole. Let's see here. Um, volcano. And the last trap element we're going to need. Holy Light, which is for a boss battle. So we don't need to, I don't need to equip it right now, but I figure I'd just go ahead and equip it so I don't forget. And then also Tornado as well. So Tornado, Volcano, Blackout, or Black Hole I mean, and Holy Light. That's the four trap elements you need for the Dead Sea. And I will be trapping one of each of those elements. Maybe more if I can get more. I'll take more, but preferably one. I don't really need more than one, really, but if I get more, that's great. Alright, head to the Dead Sea. Now that we have the Einland so we can get past the Mazamune. Oh, Garai, we shall use the holy powers of the Einhancer. To nullify the effects of the Mazamune. The sword is a reflection of one soul. How I pity you. You've done no wrong either. So, back in the day, Radius um, had the Mazamune and he killed Garai with it. The sword basically made him mad, made him corrupt or whatever. I just hope that one day that sword will be freed of enmity. Alright. Dead Sea. This is the Dead Sea. This is some sight. I feel like I'm a living. I feel like I am living a nightmare. The waves are a standstill, and what is that dark shadow in the distance? Treacherous ocean. The Eart, condemned by the by dragon gods. It is not all that bad. What the? Highway ruin south. Death store. There we get anti red. Okay, so that's the only path we can go right here. We have to go to the Highway Ruins. Oh, you want to save it before coming here because we're going to be fighting a boss up ahead here. Capsule. Reminds me of Final Fantasy 13 in that one area where it's like a highway. Alright, it's boss time against 
Motorball. No, I'm kidding. It's Highwayman. Alright. Let's get a uh, Eagle Eye on Lynx. Kind of does look like motorball, doesn't it, though? Alright, so let's do a good free fall here. Launch it in the air. And slam it down. Walk me upside the head. Yeah, we'll do good. I guess recover all here. She's a really good healer because she has a lot of magic. By the way, this thing's dark element, by the way. Get a good strength on links there. What the heck did it do? How oh, lovely, it lowered my accuracy a lot. That oh, still up both my attacks though. Hit it with another free fall here. Rampage. Wow, 290 damage. That's crazy. I do have revive on um think so. You need to attack one time here. And then I can have her use her cover. Which will also change the field around as well, so that's good. Alright, let's see here. We'll do a good sun shower. Make it rain on it. Lovely Macracy's still low. I think I'll do, I think, I think Glide Hook will finish it off, maybe. It's been in critical for a while, so it'll probably die. Hopefully. Nope, not quite.
All right, we'll do a good water breath. There we go. Do we get it? Nope, still not dead. Seriously, come on, man. Stop missing. It's getting annoying. And I guess I'll do a recover here. Because it is guess it uses the rampage again. Do have a good feral cats. He survived, at least. Alright, so I can use uh, Mermelody here. Fully heal him. Okay. And we'll attack with Norris, of course. I guess we'll do a spiral ray here. This should be a few turns before he uses Rampage again, so maybe we'll be able to finish it off before then. Uh, but then again, the flinks having like no accuracy, it's really bad. Why are you strengthening on her? But maybe, uh, okay, we'll do a good iceberg. This is her ultimate attack. Maybe it'll do a lot here. Well, not her ultimate attack, but it's the best element I got on her. There we go. Got it. Highway man. Defeated. Pretty much motorball. That's what it looks like to me anyway. And for defeating that boss you get growth level 25. Alright. 15 to HP for Lynx, 1 to Magic. 10 HP for Arenas, 1 to Strength, Resistance, Agility, and Magic. And 15 HP for Norris, one to Strength, Resistance, Magic, and Magic Resistance. And we get a Nimble Element for defeating that boss. Alright, let's continue through this, like, highway. And we got new enemy here. Let's see what it is. It's like a wraith, kinda. Except not really. Apparently it's very weak. Geos. We'll just attack here. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be that hard.
Yeah, it's pretty easy. Not sure why. You think an area enemy in this area would be a little uh, harder than that? One HP for Lynx, two HP for Arenas, and two HP for Norris. And get an eyeball. Let's try to get to those other paths. Alright, we got a new me here. Robo Robo Ducky. Wow. Just attack here. Light element. Some weird enemies in this area. That's quite a bit of HP, that's for sure. Took three rounds of attacks. One HP for Lynx, two to Arenas, and two HP for Norris. Okay. I kind of want to go back here though, because there's like other paths we can take, but how do we get to their paths? Alright, one to HP for Lynx, one to HP for Arenas, and one to Norris. High res element. Oh, oh yeah, we got a Dragon's Honor. On our Probably want to equip on somebody here. Dragoon's on her, I mean. From a boss battle. Those are really good to equip because they boost a lot of different things. Lowers attack power, but I gain one to hit percentage and gain some magic attack as well. Maybe it's not worth it actually. I don't want to equip it on her either. Okay, never mind then. How do we get to their paths? Maybe it's later on like I was thinking, but I guess it makes sense. I guess so though, I'm not... I want HP for Lynx, Arenas, and Norris. Another high res there. I think that's, I think we're just going to have to, go oh, this is, okay, this is how you do it. Okay, I see. Here we go. I figured it out. Yeah, I knew there had to be another path somewhere. Like, that just didn't seem right to me. All right, one to HP, resistance and magic resistance for Lynx. One to HP and strength for Renus. And one to HP and strength for Norris. So it'll probably be all the stats they'll gain until the next growth level, uh, more than likely. Usually once they start to gain like primary stats, they stop getting until the next boss battle. Usually when you see like strength, magic, stuff like that go up, it's usually the last time they'll gain any stats. Alright, we get another screw. Kind of useless to get screws at this point, but whatever. Let's go back this way. I think there was a chest. We can get back here. Yep, right here. 
Free fall, nice. Uh oh. Was there anything else? There might have been something the other way. I guess we'll f go back and find out. I don't want to miss anything, so. Alright. Let's see here. Let's this. Oh, here we go, yep. Mithril, alright. Cool. Take some more Mithril. And I think that's about it. So we can go back. And leave this zone now. Um, how do I get back? I have to go back this way, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry about that. What the heck? Stop! It's really hard to control your character whenever you're doing two times speed. He goes pretty fast at two times speed. Or maybe it's... Is it two times speed or four times speed? Or even three times speed, I'm not sure. It's one or the other. I think because it shows two, like speed things. I think it's considered three times speed. Uh, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, it's either two or three times speed, whatever. Alright, here we get a anti-blue. And anti-yellow. City Ruins. Resistance Belt. Okay. Guess we gotta go this way then. It's kind of hard to find your way through these areas. Okay. Oh, I got a status helmet on me. Let's see here. There we go. Kung Fu shoes. Let's check those, those out. Improves evasion. Uh, by quite a lot actually, it boosts by 12%. So that's actually a pretty significant increase in evasion, but I don't think it's really worth equipping. We got a new enemy up there. Oh, no, that's not a new enemy, that's a ducky. Oh wow, Link's actually did gain 1 to HP. I didn't think his stats would go up anymore, but it did. It actually went up by one. What do we have here? What's going on here? Okay, Norris is going to activate it. So many strange things happening here. The power source is still active. I do have knowledge of electrical engineering. Can you give me a minute, sir? Let me see. Let's see. There. The monitor should be able to display some information, sir. 2300 AD, Lithosphere Investigation Report, Report Number 27, Unknown Life Force, Parasitic to the Planet, Geological Stratum Result, 65 billion, 65 million BC, Code Lavos. 
What was the boss of Chrono Trigger? The final boss? Wasn't it Lavos? Wow, it was Lavos. That's crazy. The final boss of Chrono Trigger was Lavos. I was right. It's been a while since I played Chrono Trigger. But, yeah. 2300 AD mean a ruin from the future? Norris. Cannot you download more info about this world? Ah, oh, yes. One moment, please. Slumbering deep beneath the crust, when Lavos awakes, the planet will... What happened, Norris? What happened to the screen? The power supply is going out. At this rate, we will not be able to gather further information. Damn. We are so close to learning more about Lavos. We will not be able to find out anything new for now. Let's move on. Pretty interesting though. Hearing of lights. Check that out. Increases the amount of HP you have during battle. I still don't understand like what those do. We have like multiple earrings that have like had that same effect. And that and we I don't know what they do. Maybe they all each increase hit points by a certain amount. But I don't know. Alright. We already went that way. We gotta go south here. Yeah, the enemies around here are really easy. Surprisingly. Like, you'd think they'd be harder in this area. Alright, we got a stem and a ring. Another one of those. I think that's the third one of those I've gotten. Must be pretty good, considering they keep giving, t giving them to you. Alright, now we're back on the world map again. Looks like we got one final area to head to. But we got a new enemy here. Gremlin. Of course I missed a 95% accuracy. Alright, we'll do good feral cats here, hit all of them. AoE's really good in this battle since there's a lot of them. attack here and I'll do Norris's AoE. Toxic Breath. Probably poisons I guess. Sun Shower. Wow a lot of damage to those things. 225 damage to both all three of them. 2300 gold. Nice. Humors. Anti green. Cure plus and four humors. All right. Alright guys, that'll be the first episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll complete the sea of, or the Dead Sea.
and later.